we're gonna use, let me get a big bowl out. We're gonna do the Coca-Cola cake. Now, we're gonna take two cups of flour. I use self-rising so you can leave the baking soda out. Two cups of sugar. All right, and I'm just gonna mix those together. Now, now it says to use another bowl and combine the butter, cocoa, and coke. What I do is I can buy, I put the cocoa in, stir it with the flour and sugar because it's still a dry ingredient. Then I just mix the coke and the butter in with this and I beat it. Uh, I'm all about saving time and saving bowls. <laughs> all right, um, let's go ahead and put two tablespoons of cocoa. It is unsweetened cocoa, as you all well know. Once again, I'm using a Food Club product. It is equally as good as any of the other products there is on the market. Whisk that together. And I need to... We need a cup of butter. That is two sticks of butter. Melted, I've got it already softened. We're gonna melt it in the microwave super quick. While we're doing that, we'll measure out our soda. We'll go ahead and put our Coca-Cola in it. It does stay with Fizz. You can use Pepsi, you can use Food Cup Cola, cola but you cannot use Diet. Um, unfortunately, it, it does something to this cake and you cannot use a Diet soda in it. I'll stir up the cocoa just a little bit. Now the apples, you can. You, yes, you can. Just unfortunately in this one, you cannot. Cup of soda. Cup of butter. There is. You can use put vinegar in regular milk and leave it sitting out for about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's it. You may do it, but that's that's quick way of, of, of making it. Let's see, isn't it two, tea, two teaspoons of, oh, is, okay. Take, Right, right. I always have to look that up. How how many? How much it is? A, all right, we've got this mixed. Now, now we're going to add our buttermilk. Buttermilk is just so good and so rich. It's something you can keep on hand at home. It it has a great shelf life. It's good if you're going to fry food, coat food, bake it in the oven. It's it, cornbread. There's nothing that beats buttermilk. But I'm in a pinch. I, I do the vinegar in milk and it works. And you can't taste the vinegar or anything like that. People ask. So, oh, it's, I, lo I love the taste of buttermilk. I could drink buttermilk. All right, a half a cup of buttermilk. I'm gonna whisk that around. And then, how much oil do we need? Baking soda, oh, baking soda and eggs, two eggs. Got off track. No, I did not. Uh, because I, I use self-rising flour, so I did not use uh, baking soda. Okay. 
I usually beat my eggs before they go in and it's actually better to uh, beat one egg at a time. Time constraints, I'm, if you beat one egg at a time and then add another egg and if you let your eggs set out for just a little while before you uh, use them, you end up with a better product. But for time constraints right now, we're gonna beat all these together. Then I'm going to add vanilla. You can, but this is going to be very rich by the time it's done. <laughs> it is quite rich. Okay, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, we're gonna mix that vanilla in. And I'm going to use our grand mixer. As you all can tell, I use my mixer a lot at home. <laughs> I mix everything. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Thank you, though. I remembered them, though, today. <laughs> all right. A cup and a half of marshmallows. Beat that up. Spray your pan, grease and, oil, grease and flour your pan, whatever you like. This is a 13 by nine. Now normally I would beat this several minutes. Fold in a cup and a half of marshmallows. If you get a few more, that's okay too. Whoop, just like that. It doesn't affect this recipe. They just make a good coating on top. There we go. We're just gonna stir those together. And the marshmallows actually rise to the top. And we're going to have to wash this one more time. Now, we're going to pop that in the oven for 40 minutes. And, but this oven's a little bit slower, so it takes anywhere 45 to 50 minutes. So just based on your oven at home, try it at 40 and uh, see where you're at. Uh, it will still be a little moist in the center. I didn't write that down, but it, it will be a little moist in the center uh, even when you take it out of the oven. Now, I've already made the icing. I'll show you what the icing uh, is. It is six tablespoons of butter. Uh, you, in a good size bowl, you will mix your butter. Dark brown sugar, that's going to give that, that rich uh, taste and, and color. It's a cup of dark brown sugar, lightly packed. And two thirds a cup of smooth peanut butter. You will mix that. Um, try to mix it by hand to start, but you're going to end up having to use a mixer. It is, uh, it is quite thick. Then, when you mix that, you can fold in peanuts if you like. Those are optional. I didn't use those today. Um, when you take your cake out, you just slightly cool the cake, ice it with with this icing and you put it in the broiler on high for just a minute. I about left mine just a little bit too long with the mishap, so we got a little bit brown. But this is your broiled Coca-Cola cake, peanut butter frosting. 